A letter written by Lois Powersland to the Kalgoorlie Miner, April 6th, 1988, in regards to the Coolgardie Waste Meeting. Sir, I couldn't agree more with the points made so well by Susan Oliver in her letter to the Kalgoorlie Miner on the 2nd of April. Those in attendance at the recent Coolgardie meeting were repeatedly admonished by proponents of the hazardous dump scheme to not be emotional and to be rational. The clear inference in this directive does not strike me as being very rational. That is, that just because one feels emotional about an issue, one can't be rational. Neither do I believe that a lack of emotion means that one's argument is rational. The risks associated with the transportation and dumping of radioactive and other toxic materials make this a moral issue. But although this message was clearly and repeatedly presented by speakers from the floor, it did not seem to be understood by the supporters of the proposal. Of the two persons who dissented from the motion to support the Coolgardie Shire Council in its opposition, one in informing us that he was in favour of the scheme because the products from which toxic wastes are derived, and he included uranium, are gifts of God, displayed about the same rationale as the pedophile who claimed that God provided little children for him to abuse. His dissenting partner, Mr Graham Campbell, in the guise of a representative of the people, publicly showed his contempt for the opinions of 99% of those present and voting. Moral values are no more evident in the report on page 5 of Saturday's Minor, in which the Economic Development Minister, David Parker, asked that we have faith in his insurances that no imported wastes will be dumped at the chosen site. It is only a few short months ago that we had government assurances that the proposed facility would cater for PCBs only, and only those stored in WA. Then we find the French government-owned company tossing in its radioactive waste, with an admission from its manager that those produced outside WA could be included. Now organ chlorides have been added to the list. What's next? Lois Powersland, Victoria Street, Kalgoorlie.